Welcome to the program today. I appreciate the privilege of coming to you. I want to read uh, a scripture from Matthew, the 18th chapter, and the first verse through about 4. At the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Can you, can you really believe that? Can you really believe that grown people, the disciples, followers of Jesus, would ask a question like that? I guess people are basically the same as... And the second verse says, And Jesus... I guess it's almost like the Lord said, and he called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them. What an object lesson. And said, Verily I say unto you, in the word, listen at me, verily, I say unto you, except you be converted and become as, a, as little children, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. That's what you have to do is become like a little child. Whosoever, therefore, shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of God. So, as uh, they would say to a boy where I came from in Louisiana that was acting like this, they say, you're getting too big for your britches. Well, maybe that's the way it was. You folks are going to have to become as a little child. That's, that's strange. So I think one th thing that he was saying don't lose your wonder. Don't lose your wonder. Become as a little child. Keep the sense of surprise. Children are just so surprised about it doesn't take rockets going off. It, it, it doesn't take all kinds of uh, high sounding uh, 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 things to get our attention. They just, they just are surprised. Oh, oh, yeah. Maybe something that you would even have or something you wouldn't think of or care about, but they're just so surprised when you give them a gift. It means something to a little child. You must become as a little child and have a, a per appreciation. Have appreciation. Sometimes we don't seem to appreciate what we have and what we what God has done for us enough. Come as a little child and learn again to appreciate things. Don't don't worry about who's going to be the biggest. Don't don't worry about who is the chief among. No. I, I, I read a little story 
some time back that so touched me. This family had a little girl, four or five years old, and uh, then they got another new baby in the house. And this new baby, this uh, their young daughter was just so fascinated with the baby. And she kept saying, I want to see the baby by myself. Well, they just wasn't ready to do that. They felt like she loved the baby. They didn't really think she would hurt the baby. But it was a little bit unusual for her to just ask over and over, let me be with the baby myself. And so finally they rigged things up to where the little girl thought that she was all alone. And uh, they watched her as she went over to the baby's crib. And she said, Hey, baby, what does God look like? I'm almost to forget. What does God really, what does he look like? You know, it, it just does us good. It does us good to stay so close and in the presence of God that we remember what he feels like. He felt like when he first when we first felt him, when we were first saved, we need to stay as almost little children in our worship and our praise uh, to him. I remember uh, I was in a class one time and they were teaching us to sing. Well, <laughs> the man had a hard job with me. He was not, he didn't know it, but he was not going to be able to teach me to sing. But I was there. I was listening. And one of the first things he said to us was, you've got to learn to sing from your diaphragm. I thought, same from my diaphragm. I didn't even know I had a diaphragm. <laughs> same, and I did. I just, I didn't really know what the man was talking about. And, and so you, you know what I decided when I, I got back home and I was trying to breathe right and trying to exhale at the proper time and all of that intake and all. I said, you know what? I'm just going to keep on singing. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away and I'm just going to bellow it out just like little kids when they come up on the platform for an Easter program or Christmas or whenever they come. And some of them can't sing, but they're enjoying it so much. And no one cares that they can't sing if they're in their right mind. They're just letting them express themselves. I don't think God is worried so much about <laughs> Where are we singing from? Why don't we just become as little children so that we can be a part of the kingdom of God? God bless you.